Good morning everyone. Well, I just wanted to come back. I'm going to do a special read this morning and I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been in my life since I started these readings. Today marks 12 months of being of my channel being up and running. Um, I don't really know what I want to say to that. It's been an incredible journey. I haven't looked back. I think it was the most... Um, I want to say sensible, but it sounds so daggy. I want to say it was the most um, ambitious thing I have ever done in my life. It certainly went against everything that I thought of myself in terms of being out there and doing this for everybody to see. I guess a lot of people wouldn't see me as being a shy person, but I am incredibly incredibly nervous about doing things like this and it has really brought me out of my shell. Uh, it also has made me use my voice which of course many of you know for many years I had people say to me that I had an awful voice so I hadn't really um, embraced that side of myself either and I hadn't really embraced my spirituality really to the point of being able to share that with others as well. So I have over the last 12 months developed a great deal of trust of spirit, um, a great deal of faith in the universe and a great deal of um, gratitude for this opportunity and this journey I've been given. I don't look back at all. I've learned so much on this journey. So even though I'm reading for all of you a lot of the time, you know, I take with me the lessons I'm learning too. I grow every day from your beautiful messages that you send me. And I had another one this morning and I think I feel an incredible amount of gratitude for the difference and the change I'm making in people's lives, which was, of course, why I started on this journey in the first place. So I want to do a special reading this morning. Um, a bit of a bonus read. I don't know what will come out now because I've sat here and talked about all this before I start. But I want to say for each and every one of you who've subscribed, watched me, donated, bought readings from me, um, gave me feedback, um, shared your stories with me, um, shared your love with me, for every... And each one of you out there, I am sending you my love and saying to you, thank you for being part of this journey and part of this beautiful community that we've created on YouTube. Thank you. So let's get on with the, with the good tarot here. So we're going to use the good tarot for this reading. And let's see what comes out for this one. They're such beautiful big cards. I love them so much. I've got so many new cards to use though. Well, wow, this is interesting. So we have the card of judgment coming out here. Um, so the card of judgment talks of being risen from the dead. <laughs> it's the card of Phoenix rising. It's the card of the universe calling out to say, hey, you never got this right the first time. We're going to give you another go at it. Behind that, I do have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Earth here. Um, she is a card that represents the Earth sign. So this could be anybody who's Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. But more than likely, this person is a person who's very, um, very connected with their surroundings, very connected with the Earth very grounded, very loving, very nurturing. We do have the Two of Swords behind that. So the Two of Swords talks of making a decision. Um, this person in the traditional tarot has um, two swords that cross their hearts. So they know that the decision will be painful to make, but they have to move forward and make that decision. And behind that, we have temperance, patience. So waiting for something to happen here. You're waiting for a brand new start to come in, but in order to do that, you have to you have to trust something a second time around. And that's going to be very difficult because you don't trust that with that two of swords. 
So you're unsure of whether this is something you should jump at, take a leap of faith at, or whether you cut it out and just move on. So this is an opportunity coming in for you. OK, so we have the Page of Earth coming through first. So this Page of Pentacles carries his pentacle um, as a gift or an offer of something. Um, the Page of Pentacles always has a very strong karmic feel to him. So he's coming in with something, some sort of offer here of stability. Sometimes it can be a gift, um, a, a tangible gift of something. So it could be somebody is coming in to offer you a gift. Ten of Swords coming in here. And the gift may be that you get an opportunity to close out a negative cycle here. So this message the Page of Pentacles brings in may help you to close something out, close something down, finish it off. It could be that someone's announcing something here that creates some pain, but through the pain you rebirth the phoenix. Okay, so something that's hidden from view at this time because the moon is here. Oh, that's going to be my next tattoo. Have a look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay. Six of Pentacles coming in. Okay, not sure where this reading's going at the moment, but there's definitely something you're ending out here to get a second chance at. So nine of pentacles coming in, and it could mean that you choose to go it alone. Could be that you're just feeling very strong from it all. Hermits come out in exactly the same position as it came out, I think, in the What's Cracking reading. Oh, oh they're after me. Um, okay, so we do have the knight of pentacles followed. So someone's serious about something here. Someone is not giving up. This page of pentacles has already got to night level. So someone wants something to move very quickly here. Okay, we do have the tower. So I sort of half anticipated that would come out in here. Um, something is about to change your life in a big way. Hanged man. And you'll never look at things the same way again. Maybe you'll get your own YouTube channel. It looks like a king of wands. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, let's have a good look at this. Someone's helping, someone's giving you the gift of rebirth here. Someone is bringing, bringing in something that's going to change your life. Um, their judgment call, queen of pentacles, two of swords, the patience, which is the temperance card, followed by the ace of fire. Something that's going to help you have a brand new passionate start. This is going to change you dramatically here because someone's bringing you a gift from the universe that is going to allow you to give up some sort of thought pattern, some way of doing things, some sort of cycling here. Very similar again to the What's Cracking reading. So there is a very strong feeling that this is about to happen. It's on your doorstep here. The tower is here. And in order to be reborn, we have to break down and take away all of those things that we've learned that no longer serve us. Because the universe is trying to rebirth the truest version of you, the version of yourself that you've hidden from the world, the one that is real, that doesn't need a mask, that is comfortable and complete in their own skin. This person is coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. So I would say that you're coming into a time where you feel very connected to your surroundings, very connected with the universe here. I feel quite strongly that although sometimes these tower moments don't have an incredibly big impact, they're often a moment of epiphany. This one is going to be quite an epiphany for you because I feel like it will rock your world, knock you off your feet cause you to rethink a lot of things that you have not um, considered before. But the one thing that rebirths out of this is the beautiful you, the person you were meant to be. So you don't longer, no, you no longer carry the shackles of the devil with you. You're leaving that behind. So these obsessive thoughts, the negativity, the inability to let go of things that plague you, that hold on to you, that stop you moving forward and reaching your abundance. You're leaving them all behind here. So whoever this person is that's coming in to offer you this, they're coming up as a king of wands. So they are obviously someone that is well respected, that you have a lot of um, 
you have a lot of uh, reverence for you perhaps look up to them in your own way so it could be a father figure could be a romantic person or someone that you love but this person is going to release you here from that which has held you back and bring in abundance for you it's a beautiful beautiful reading to do and I'm so so emotional um reading this to you not that I'm not emotional I was emotional when I started but wow this is huge and I feel like it's been coming for a long while but I don't think you've been ready there's needed to be healing here um and I feel like this will really push you forward on your path. Okay, so we have the card of the hunter coming out here. I'm going to read the oracle card here. <sighs> Rely on your own skills traverse, to traverse the thick forest you are... Can I start again? I have to put my emotions down for a moment. Rely on your own skills to traverse the thick forest you are in to reach your destination. You need to follow the tracks left by spirit to claim your bounty, which is already prepared and being offered to you. Do not follow the maps drawn by others as they will not lead you true. Instead, become the map maker. Find your internal compass and use all of your senses, including your common sense. Okie dokie. This is going to be a little bit of a journey for you here, rebirthing yourself. Um, be kind to yourself, love yourself, the warm baths, the long walks, the holidays, whatever you need to do. A bit of a transformation coming in for you. Have a wonderful day.